Ha ha ha, welcome! It's me, Sal, redesigning Bowser. His design has seen many variations throughout the Super Mario game series, and they're all awesome, so I want to create my own version just for fun. And as always, I'll walk you through a bit of my redesign process and tell a story or two. So on my canvas here, I'm taking note of the colors commonly seen in Bowser's designs. Then I create my variation on it, keeping in mind that Princess Peach redesign I made earlier. Lighter colors are more my style, but I made a few options before picking out my favorite. Whenever I create a palette, I try to add as much color as I can by avoiding pure black, white, or gray. Instead, I choose dark or light purples to replace them, so there's more of a rainbow of colors in my drawings. When comparing the palettes side by side like this, you can also see how far I stray from the original colors, but still try to keep a similar feeling. This is true when I redesign shapes, too. These concept sketches start out closer to what Bowser already looks like in the beginning, but as I go, I try to put my own spin on things and make him look as sleek as possible by merging shapes together. It's very Pokemon looking this way. Bowser is rather monster-like too, but there's a simplicity in his design that makes him so interesting and iconic. Eventually I settle on this mixture, but I like the others too. This one just matches my Princess Peach redesign more, and I want these redesigns to look alike. According to what I could find online, Bowser's design is based on an ox, dragon, and alligator snapping turtle. What a wild mix. On top of this, he's the king of the Koopas, which are turtle-like creatures, so you'd think he would live in the water, but no. His castle is all lava and rock and... hot. There's so many crazy things like this in Super Mario games that I really enjoy, and I'm excited about the upcoming movie too. Although I haven't played all the games, Mario 64 is classic, and Mario Sunshine was great too. But my favorite was Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. The gameplay was really fun, and the characters were really cute. Platformers aren't really my deal, but I still play them. My brother plays them a bunch, and we swap games with each other, so I usually play whatever he's playing. We've been playing video games ever since we had a Nintendo. Super Mario Bros. was where it began. Back then, I was too young to play video games very well, so a couple times they just gave me an unplugged controller and told me I was playing. Eventually, I figured it out and would have no more of this, and we've been playing video games together ever since. We'd even save money together when we were kids to buy more video games. And whenever my brother comes over to visit, the whole family plays Mario Kart or Mario Party. It's just part of our lives. So I really wanted to pay tribute to this and make a redesign unlike any other. A super shapey Koopa King. Bowser's battle music from Mario 64 is playing in the background, but slow and on piano. Long time ago, I took a beginner piano class for fun, and it taught me a ton about tempo and timing and things I still use today in my videos. Everything is digital now, but I still play on my keyboard from time to time or draw with paper and pencil, especially when I need a break from all these screens. Oh, and time jump here. My mother takes a trip each year to visit her friends, but she hasn't seen them in a long time, so I took a break to help her make a dessert for them. Of course, I left myself drawing notes and violets, so when I came back, I'd know where I was and what to do next without having to stop and think. Because thinking takes a lot of time for me. Typically, I erase these notes as I go just to keep track of things, but others I might outright ignore entirely. There's so much about a drawing that's spontaneous and experimental that it can go in different directions than you were expecting. But you won't know if it works until you draw it out. Same goes for Bowser here. A few things work, a few things don't, but it was fun. Hope you had fun watching this too. If there's anything you'd like to see me draw, just let me know in the comments below. I've got a gigantic list of them that I'm drawing in order, so it might take time, but I'll get to drawing all of them eventually. Thanks for being here, and I'll see you later.